Swanson and Son of Omaha, Nebraska, packers of America's best-known brand, canned and frozen poultry, presents the exciting television game, The Name's the Same. Let's meet our panel of famous names. One of radio's well-known humorists, Gene Rayburn. <laughs> famous radio and television actress, Joan Alexander. <laughs> Bright young comedian of the show of shows, Carl Reiner. And your host and moderator, another famous name, Robert Jew Lewis. <laughs> Thank you, Lee. Hi. Good evening and welcome once again to the Names the Same. Tonight, as usual, you're going to meet some people who have very famous names. Names the same as celebrities and places and things that we all know. Let's meet our first guest with a famous name. Let's get some of the preliminaries here. Where are you from, sir? Tennessee. Oh, be afraid. Speak to Tennessee. Right Tennessee. All right. And what do you do down there? I'm a student. You're a student where? At, uh, I'm, I don't go to school now. I'm clowning. You're nervous, aren't you? What yeah, are you I'm nervous about? Man from Tennessee and his neighbor. <laughs> can't have that kind of now. Just relax. Well, I'm just on a vacation. Are you? Well, now you just sit back and enjoy it now. Don't just, it ain't going to hurt you, I promise. Well, now, it's true, of course, this gentleman has a famous name. If you don't mind, I'm going to refer to you as Mr. X from now on, just so we don't give away your name by accident. Let's let our home audience see this gentleman's famous name. We point out that every one of the names we use on the names the same is authentic. We check birth certificates, driver's licenses, various other things. Is that a bat flying around? Uh, panel, uh, it's up to you to determine, if you can, what this gentleman's famous name is. You have ten questions apiece, and each panelist who uses up his questions or fails to get the correct answer must pay Mr. X's check of $25. Incidentally, Gene, welcome to the Names the Same. Thank you. I Did got Did you em. get him? Yeah. <laughs> Good for right you. Right over here. Want to see him? No! <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep him. Incidentally, I've been... In, <laughs> save it for later. I've been enjoying... <laughs> I've been enjoying you in the mornings, my dear boy, on Thank NBC. You. You're doing a wonderful job over Glad there. Glad to see you're getting up early these days. <laughs> I sure am. You're the young man that I have to be working for He's these days. He's not getting up early. He's just staying up late. <laughs> and with that remark, let's start with Joan Alexander. <laughs> Are you living? No. Were you ever living? Yes. Uh, were you male? Yes. I passed. All right, Gene, ten questions. Uh, uh, he used to be living... Were you a historical character? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Were you uh, in the field of uh, politics or anything associated with it? Yes. Were you a ruler of some kind? Well, now we have to define what you mean by ruler. In the strict sense of the word, no. The gentleman was not a ruler in the, in the strictest sense of the word. You have uh, seven questions. I pass. All right, uh, Carl, ten questions. Uh, was this person an American? Yes. He was. Did he ever hold any public office? Yes. A uh, high public office? Yes. Was he ever president of the United States? No. Vice president? No. Oh, well, I pass. All right, Johnny, seven questions. Was he in the cabinet? No. Speak up, boy. Don't you? He was not in the cabinet. He no, was not, no. Was he in state politics? Yes. Was he the governor of a state? Yes. Uh, you have four questions, John. Was he from the eastern part of the United States? No. Uh, was he assassinated by any chance? Yes. yes. He was assassinated. Was he from New Orleans? Yes. Was he Huey Long? Huey Long. Hunch girl over there was Hunch, was it not? Oh, no. I asked a lot of questions I that know, led but me it, to it. It had to be a Hunch, and now this girl gets them if anybody in the world is. Very good, Joni. Carl, Jean, write out your checks. $25 a piece. Yeah, all right. you feel better now? Yeah. Well, you'll feel better when you get two checks. One from Jean and one from Carl. And thanks so much from the Swanson folks for playing the names the same. Nice to meet you. Hi. Hi. 
let's meet our next guest with a famous name. Well, very happy to welcome you. Where are you from? I'm from Phoenix, Arizona. Phoenix. Very good. And what do you do? Um, housewife, designer, a lot of things. Yeah? <laughs> uh, all righty. We know you've got a famous name, and we're all anxious to take a look at it. Let's let our home audience see this very attractive young lady's famous name. Panel, I think by now you know the rules. You're familiar with those. Let me uh, tell you this before we start. Miss X's name is a thing. A thing. And with that great help, let's start with Carl Reiner. She doesn't look like a thing. Is, <laughs> is this thing which you are, which I don't believe, is this thing a useful thing? Yeah. It is a useful thing. Would a, uh, would I say a, a businessman uh, come in contact with... Be, on a day-to-day -day basis, that is. On a day-to-day -day basis? Yes. I think you'll go yes. 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 Mm -hmm. uh, Would you find one or more of these in an office? Could be. Yes, you very definitely. In this office, would these things, or this, these things be used more by women than by anybody else? Yes. Well, it would depend on the office, but I think... Uh, <laughs> I think you could safely say they'd be used more by women. Mm -hmm. Would they be used uh, sometimes at a desk, and would they sometimes be considered portable? Now, might they be portable? Yes. Yeah. Yes. They would be. Yes, and you have five questions. They would be... They'd be oh, do some, do some secretaries acquire more speed uh, using these than others? Do some secretary acquire more speed? Uh, did you mean in the use of these? Yes. Uh, yes, some of them, I would say. That... Do, you, do you have to press down on parts of this to make it go, to move it? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll leave that to you. Well, no, no, you don't really have to, do you? No. No, no, you don't. And she to. is obviously not Elsie Smith or a typewriter or something. No, no. She didn't look like one to begin with. I, I pass. Joni, you've got ten questions. Well, you don't did. open your mouth. <laughs> I would have been if I were you. <laughs> you did say, you did indicate that a businessman uses this during the day. Would this be used? That's what they said? Well, now, uh, we ask you to bear with us. Now a businessman would obviously... You go right ahead, Joan, and don't you mind. <laughs> Would this be used more for pleasure than for business? <laughs> yes. Oh. No wonder. That... I just have a feeling that this might be found in a cocktail lounge or a bar. <laughs> That's right. Is that right? That is right. You would find these in a cocktail lounge, would you not? You could. Now, look, Bob, if a man were to be using this thing during a cocktail hour. <laughs> Would his wife know about it when he came home? Go. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we all drink some water? Show's over. Good night, friend. <laughs> yes? Uh-huh. Yes, his wife would uh, tend to know that. Is your name the name of an intoxicating liquor? <laughs> no. No? No. Oh. Well, oh, wait a minute. Listen, is it something th th that an intoxicating liquor could be put in, too? Yes. <laughs> yes? That's right, yes. On a cold day, would a man maybe take this to a football game? like a flask, but it couldn't be that funny. No, it couldn't. A flask? No, you have four questions. Oh, I passed. <laughs> well, welcome home, home, Jean. Oh, dear. Well, where do we go from here? I, uh, I suspect that this is something that uh, is not normally put into a liquor container of some kind. Is that... 
from the previous question that was Not put into a liquor container. Yeah, like, you know, a glass or a flask or something. Well, it might be put into it, but it's not normally put into it. Let's put it that way. It's not normally. Well, if they have them in offices and lounges, uh, cocktail lounges and football games and stuff like that, it, uh, it, uh, and it's a useful device. <laughs> well, is this an inanimate object? No. No, no. no. Oh, it's not. No. Is it some uh, part of the human anatomy? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> is it a... Is it uh, a part of the upper half of the body? Yes. Is it an appendage? Ah. <laughs> oh, an appendage. You know, like... No. A, it's not? Is it uh, part of the head, any part at all? Yes. You have five questions. You're doing very well. Does each person have two of these? Yes. Yes. Uh, is it any part of the eye or is it the eye? No. no. Mm -hmm. You have three questions. Je pas. Continue where hey, hey. vous, Monsieur Reiner. Is it, do you hear or smell or, or, do you hear or smell with it? Do you know anybody well, who has two noses? <laughs> no. Two? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I I won't accept my the stupid, I won't accept. Uh, most people, most people, most people do have two nostrils, except some few like you who are missing that partition. In the middle. <laughs> That's what I meant. Uh, what, I well, asked, now, you what hear, is your question? Or, my question was: yes. Do you hear or smell with, with these? No, you no. do not. You have. Uh, let me see how many questions you have. Two, I, I have guess. two questions. Go ahead, Carl. Well, I'm narrowing it down to the lips. Is it, is it the lips? Yes. You have one question. You must get the lady's name. Oh, uh, it's a, a lip. No, sir. Uh, Joan, four questions. Well, is lip in this? Yes. Uh, is her last name lip? Uh, 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 lips. Almost. Lips is the correct. last name is Lips. Yes, you have two questions. Is the first name an initial or a name? It, uh, uh, I can answer yes I mean, or no. Is it an initial? No. Uh, One is it, question. Is it May Lips? No. Uh, is Jean, it? three questions. Is the first name a color? Yes. Is oh. it uh, Red Lips? No. One question. Uh, no, that's not right. <laughs> Come on, Jean, quickly. Did she turn blue, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> Ruby Lip. Ruby Lip. Oh. Ruby Lip. I know. I bet you had a lot. I'm glad you had fun. Uh, you have had more fun, my dear. You have won three prizes, $25 each, from Jean, Joan, and Carl. I'll ask you to go over there, say hello to them, and uh, thanks so much from Swanson for playing the names of things. Boy, oh, you have pretty lips. What a you nice 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 on the cheek. I did that because I can say I kissed Ruby lips on the cheek. Did you kiss Ruby lips? On the kiss, cheek. On the cheek. <laughs> we, <laughs> we come now to the I'd Like to Be portion of our show, and here to play I'd Like to Be is the young star of motion pictures, Mr. Peter Lawford. Oh, oh. You look like Naturally, we want the panel to go to work on you, Peter Lawford. Before the show started, Peter told us who he might like to be. Just in fun, of course, if he were not in... Peter, what are you doing in town? Well, I just finished a picture. We were here on location for about ten days. A picture called A Name for Herself, the Judy Holiday. Oh, wonderful. I understand that's a Garson Canaan script. And that's it right. Be, should be pretty wonderful. Good. All right, panel, let's see if you can figure out who it is uh, Peter Lawford would like to be. Let's let our home viewers see that famous name. Well, the rules remain the same as before. The loser's checks will go to Peter Lawford's favorite charity. Let's start off this round with, though, Carl Reiner. Oh, 
Do, do you look anything like this person that you would like to be? Uh, possibly. Uh, is this person in the movies? Yes. Oh, is, is he considered uh, very popular with the opposite sex? I would say yes. Has he uh, made a career in the great out of doors? Is that where he spent most of his time making his career? Yes, I would say. Oh, has he spent quite a bit of time lately uh, showing his chest? Yeah, he's mm -hmm. Is he involved now in a very big production? <laughs> you sure we're talking about the like same Julius song? Caesar? Oh, like Julius Caesar? No, no. Then you're not Marlon Brando. Mm -hmm. No, I'm sorry. All right, I pass. Joni, ten questions. <laughs> We've had Arlene Dahl, Jean Jean Gabor, and everything else for so long, and I'm so glad we're reverting to my type on this show. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to peel it off it every week on the show. Well, <clears throat> anyway, is this a he that you want to be? Yes. A he. Oh. Is it uh, an American he? That's very different. <laughs> I believe, uh, I, I believe, uh, originally, uh, I believe originally British. Uh, originally, yes. Originally, uh, originally uh, British, uh, but, uh, now, he, He's, uh, uh, since crossed the Atlantic. Yes. He was originally British? Yes. Mm -hmm. But he's now American. Mm -hmm. Uh, is he, a, a young, attractive, leading man? <laughs> it depends how you would look at it. Yes, he, he, he might be. Well, how look at it, Mr. Lawford, is that you're a young, attractive, mm. leading man. <laughs> and if he looks like you, he's a young, attractive, leading man. If he looks like you... Well, I have to answer that for Peter uh, and say that uh, I think Peter would be much more attractive to you than the person he'd like to be. Then, then Thank you. That's, that's all right. true. <laughs> How, uh, is this man older than Mr. Lawford? Well, now, uh, <clears throat> you have raised a very interesting point. Uh, well, yes, but there again we get back to the uh, two sides of the Atlantic. Yeah. On one side he is older, on the other side he's younger. Uh, may I say... Please, shall we leave again? Yeah. Bye. 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 Uh, you mean on the British side he's older than the... Enough with this? I think I'm going to have to tell you this is not a man. You asked first, if you recall, is this a he? Oh. And we gave you a yes. Yeah. But he's not a man. Oh, uh, sure. He's a he, but not a man. Is he an animal? Yes, he is. He's an animal. Oh, you have God. four questions. Is he a... Uh, is he uh, 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 a large animal? I mean, that is larger than a mule or a horse. No, no, he's not. Uh, Three questions. Is he in cartoons? Yes. Oh, dear, I've got to pass and save uh, my... Gene, ten questions. Is this a living animal? Oh. Yes, he's... Well, uh... Well, Oops. For the, purposes, for the purposes of our, of our uh, game, I think we'd have to assume that he was not. No, living. he's not. No, I'm, that's he's not. A, no. Is this uh, an animal that's famous in a, uh, in a literary thing of some kind? Yes. Mm -hmm. in, a, in a cartoon? Yes. yes. Comic strip? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, where do we go from here? Is this. Uh, what paper is this? Do you uh, <laughs> any member of the rodent family? Uh, I'll get my head Like a, a squirrel, a chipmunk, a rat. No, uh, uh, rat actually. He knows what rodents are. But we don't. Let him do yeah. it. He's sort, of sort of distantly related. Really? Yes. Mm -hmm. Does this animal uh, walk on all fours? Uh, you mean the animal we are discussing here, as opposed to the real animal? Yes, uh, I believe he does. Yes. Oh, no, wait a minute. No. He does not, no. does he? No, he doesn't, actually. No, he does not walk. Well, now, uh, would you straighten me out? Uh, Mr. No, I, don't, I like it better this way. <laughs> <laughs> Two feet. Yeah. Mr. Lawford would like to be one... Eh, you know, what, uh, an animal. That's correct. Let's keep yeah. it rolling. Five questions. Yeah. And uh, this animal is, uh, is a fictitious animal, that is actually. Correct. That's right. And it's a small animal. Yes. Mm -hmm. I pass. <laughs> I'm, 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 Boy, I'm did you help me. Three Boy, questions. it's as clear as anything now. Is this a figment of Mr. Disney's imagination? 
No. That's the only animals I really no. know. Um, he, you say he came from, uh, from uh, Europe or so from England, you said. England said. originally, yes. England, do we know that? Uh, uh, do we all know that, or is it just a special... No, you would not know that, I am sure, and oh. we have only one and one-half minutes to go. Oh. Well... You have two questions, Carl. I'll pass. All right, Johnny, two is questions. Is this animal in the comic strip? Yes, darling, yes. that's been established. Is he the leading character in the comic strip? Yes, yes. and I'm afraid... Is there also a book? Uh, 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 oh, uh, uh, I think uh, I know uh, what it is. All right, Gene Rayburn, five questions, and there's only approximately a minute. Is this a comic strip that's currently popular? Yes. I mean, we can buy it in a New York paper, let's say. Yes. 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 Uh, is it um, Mickey Mouse? No, sir. No. no. Oh. I don't know. I have the slightest idea. I pass. All right, how's our time over there? Uh, Carl, you've got uh, two questions. Is it Pogo? No, no sir. No? One question, Carl. Um... That's as good as I can get. <laughs> I can't. All right, uh, uh, don't charge him for that, please. Gene Rayburn, you have three questions, and we have about 30 seconds. Is this a canine? No. No. Can I give up? Is that allowed on this program? Can I just quit and hide under the table or something like All that? All right, I will let you give up. Unfortunately, this is a real tough one. You tell him, Peter. Peter Rabbit. Oh. oh it's not so and he looks like him, too. <laughs> <laughs> Incidentally, we should have guessed. Uh, uh, Peter, I think you, you, you know about as much there. about Peter Rabbit as I do. The reason we said that he originally came from England was because his author was an English lady named Beatrice Potter, who originated this character approximately in 1905, and then Harrison Cady introduced him to the American comic strip in 1920. Peter, you've got three fat checks of $25 each for your favorite charity. And Thanks from Swanson for playing the name. Thank you. Nice to see you. Thank you. Where'd you get those ears? <laughs> I don't know who wants to be Peter Rabbit. <laughs> the panel and I will be back in a moment. Now, before we leave, let's have a little accounting. Gene, how did you do tonight? Well, uh, I lost uh, 75 very taxable dollars, and I couldn't be happier. Good night, friends. <laughs> Joan Alexander, how about you? I lost $50, and I see Peter Rabbit in a whole new light, and Peter Lawford in the same old light. Good night, everybody. <laughs> Carl Reiner, how about you? I lost $75, and I never realized Gene Raymond was so young and so dark. <laughs> Jeanette, Jean you cut your hair. <laughs> Good night, Good family. Night. You're pretty idiotic. <laughs> so long, folks, for C.A. Swanson and Sons, Packers of America's best-known brand of canned and frozen poultry. The panel and I will see you again next week on The Name's the Same, which will be brought to you by the makers of Johnson's Wax. Something new has come to GSN. You can't see it, but if you listen, you will hear it. Listen, play, win. Only at gsn.com slash radio. Play by ear.